Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another one. You already know what we like to get into on this channel. Creepy, strange, all that good stuff, man. Just make sure before this video starts, hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know, we're trying to get to 10k views a day, so like the video up, man. If you want to see your boy winning, all right, just like the video. And we, hey, I'm not, not too much talking. We got a lot of good clips to get into for today, so let's get right into it kinds of edible and medicinal plants that you probably have growing in your backyard. We're going to take a little walk around my yard today and see what we can find. Over here by my steps is a very medicinal plant called Self Heal. It can be used to treat wounds. It has antiviral, anti-inflammatory, and even cancer fighting properties. And that's just to name a few. I could be here for a long time listing all the health benefits from all these plants. Strong bitter taste. To me it tastes like medicine. It is a medicinal plant after all. Let's see what else we can find. Also, be sure not to eat any plants that have been sprayed with chemicals. Here's a good one. Wood sorrel. Tastes just like lemon, which is why I use it to make lemonade in the woods. Plus, it's loaded with vitamin C. Very good flavor. You just don't want to eat too much of it because it contains oxalic acid, which can possibly give you kidney stones if you eat too much of it. Here's another very medicinal plant, the plantain. Great for healing wounds, it acts as an antibacterial. Some studies even show that it can prevent the growth of certain cancer cells. A little bitter. They'll be less bitter if you pick them young. And here we have some clover. These are red clover leaves and this is white clover. The red is much bigger than the white, but both are edible. You can eat both the leaves and the flower. Has a little cucumber taste to it. The red clover flowers are a lot bigger. A little bitter. And of course, dandelions. The entire plant is edible and very good for you. Very nutritionally dense, apparently even more so than kale or spinach. And for dessert, we're gonna have some black raspberries. These are just starting to ripen. One of my favorites. You can also make a medicinal tea with the leaves. You can heal from anything in 90 to 180 days. All you gotta do is fast, which is basically cleanse yourself. Okay, so we got plants I heard that we probably, I'm pretty sure y'all don't know about that can heal us. Y'all just saw him eating all these plants, all right? I'm pretty, I'm pretty, hopefully he did his research on them and stuff like that, but that's dope. That can save somebody your life one day. Hey, I'm definitely going to keep this in here for sure. You allow your body to do what it's naturally made to do. Which is heal itself, because the last time you cut yourself, you didn't have to do anything. Your body showed you it knows how to heal. Yeah. Your body is not a one-way street. The only reason why your body is acting up is because you're mistreating your body. And whatever disease or illness that you got, that's your body showing you that you've been mistreating it. And that you need to start treating your body the way you should treat it. By feeding it the stuff that is made for it that won't harm it. Because if you eat something that makes you sick, it's not your food. If you eat something that gives you the itis, that is not your food. If you eat something that makes you constipated, that is not your food. If you eat something that your body don't recognize and don't know how to process, that is not your food. Right. And your body is letting you know. Because you get your girds, you get your gout, you get your, you get your boils under your armpits, you get your psoriasis, you get your acne. That's your body letting you know, bro, you done put something inside of me that I don't recognize, so I don't know how to process. So the natural process of me taking, of me taking the vitamins, the minerals, the fructose, and then I poop everything else that I don't need, I'm not doing that. So now it's stuff being stuck inside of me, and now it's rotting, and it's causing me to go through all this stuff like the cancers, and the tumors and it's clogging up your arteries and your blood vessels because that's not your food when you put it in me i don't recognize it as food so i do not put in the work to break it down i'm here to break down stuff that is naturally made for me so if you put something inside of me that there's a great chance i might not process it and it's gonna be stuck inside of me and then after it gets stuck inside of me for a long time you're gonna start seeing the effects of it whether it's psoriasis whether it's acne whether it's herpes whether it's lupus whether it's cancer, whether it's diabetes, whether it's arthritis, whether it's sickle, sickle cell, whether it's PCOS, whatever you're dealing with. And yes, I said it. I know a lot of y'all are shocked. Herpes. Herpes is something that you can catch with the stuff that you eat, like chicken and turkey. It's nothing but worms, you know. Via the food you eat. So if you want to heal yourself from anything, all you have to do is message me on Instagram 
and get out of your body's way and allow yourself to heal. Because when you stop eating, your, the, all the cells in your body, they start to chew away at all the negative cells. They start to eat away at the tumors or the cancers, and your body start to remove the bullshit out of you. The same thing that you do every night when you go to sleep. Your body is fasting. That's why you wake up, your tongue white, white stuff on the side of your eyes, white stuff on the side of your mouth. That's your body showing you it's removing bullshit. And if you want your body to continue to remove the bullshit, you have to stop eating and begin fasting. And when you fasting and you start, you know, juicing and you start taking the herbs, that is a battery for your body to speed up the process Indeed. of what it's naturally Indeed. made to do, which is heal itself. And if you want to heal yourself, you know, you don't need no insurance. You don't need no thousands of dollars. All you're going to need is the same money you was investing into the foods and the drinks that made you sick. You invest it into a juicer and the fruits and the herbs that's going to heal you from whatever you have. And after you heal, don't go back to eating the bullshit because you're just going to end up in worse situations than you was before. And all you got to do is message me on Instagram. It's free 99 Free to talk to me, free to get the fruit list, free to get the meditation calendar, free to get the link to join a group, free to get the concoctions to heal yourself. Like, you know, you're going to have to cleanse your gut because 90% of diseases start with your gut. You're going to have to cleanse your adrenals because your adrenals is your body's battery because you can have a good body, but if your battery is bad, then your body is not going to operate the way it should. You're going to have to cleanse your lymphatic system because that is your sewage system. The same way I'm eating right now, when I eat... When that food goes in my body, the cells in my body, they eat also. The same way I eat and I poop, my cells eat and they poop also. And your lymphatic system is your sewage system. So if you eat and your cells eat and then your cells poop and your body is not clean enough for the shit that they poop to get up out of there, you're going to end up with sickle cells and a bunch of other shit. So if you want all the info or the herbs, all the concoctions that you need to put together to heal yourself for free 99 all you got to do is slide in my DM on Instagram and say, my name is so-and-so, I am joining a journey, and this is my reason for doing so. You can heal from anything in 90 to 180 days. I agree, man, that's what's up. But this is what we gotta be doing, putting the right stuff in our bodies and stuff. Uh, it's okay to indulge, but like I say, don't overindulge. That's how I look at it. Probably the strongest painkiller you're going to find out here in the woods. And I'm going to show you how to make a tincture with it. Ghost pipe, or Indian pipe. This mysterious, ghostly, perennial plant is white because it doesn't have chlorophyll and cannot photosynthesize like other plants. It's a parasitic plant that gets its nutrients from fungi. So you would forage them like you would mushrooms because most of the time they grow together. It's a sedative and a nervine, so it calms the nervous system. It's a great pain reliever and is said to calm your mind as well. The Native Americans use this for all kinds of ailments. They're pretty rare in some areas, but somehow I have a lot of them growing right behind the house. And you want to harvest it sustainably by only picking one or two from each cluster. You can eat small amounts. It has a bitter, spicy taste. Wow, stronger than I remember. I can definitely feel a numbing effect in my mouth, kind of like Novocaine. It's a very powerful plant, which also contains some toxins, but it's okay to use in small amounts. So just use it with caution. You can also make a tincture with it. I use 40% 80 proof vodka. Do this in the field and add them to the alcohol as soon as you pick them. Just enough to submerge them. I'll let it sit for about six weeks in a cool, dry, dark place. After that, you strain it and then only use a few drops at a time because it's very powerful stuff. It should turn Turn purple when it's done. Probably the strongest mm. painkiller you're gonna find out here in the again. Y'all have to remember that the adrenal glands is your key to healing. But the adrenal glands is not more important than the kidneys. These are like twins here. The adrenals kick on the kidneys for filtration, and then the kidneys filtrate all the metabolic waste out of the body. Now, if you want to get your adrenals back online, I'm gonna tell you what to do. It's so su it's super easy, y'all. And these are these are basic fundamentals. Go on an all-fruit diet, 21 days. All-fruit diet. No vegetables, no nothing. Just all fruits, 21 days. Of course, make it organic fruits with seeds. 21 days. Why are you on that 21? How many, how many of y'all uh, done this or trying to do this or doing it right now? How many of y'all doing this? Let me know in the comments. I don't know. Because you definitely should be doing this, man. Especially it's about to get hot. You don't need it, man. But that's soon gonna burn them toxins right out of you. Right? It always do. 21 day diet on all fruits. 
right? No vegetables. You're going to be taking your liquid intake up to about 50 ounces of liquids a day. These 50 ounces of liquids, you need to split in half. 25 ounces need to go to fruit juices. The other 25 ounces need to go to dark leafy green vegetable juices. This is H3O2. So now look, you're on a all fruit diet for 21 days. Then out of these 21 days, you, you're increasing your liquid intake to actually 50 ounces of liquid intake a day, 100% H3O2. You're going to split that down in the middle. 25 ounces is going to be fruit juices. The other 25 ounces is going to be dark leafy green vegetable juices. Right mm -hmm. now, this is going to cause the body to hydrate like a mug. Now, if you got failing kidneys, I don't recommend this because you're going to get extremely edemic. You're going to start swelling up everywhere. And the reason why is because the blood capillaries that's inside of your vessels due to all the high blood pressure because your adrenals are down. They have collapsed. They have collapsed the capillaries or the capillaries. So now you start spilling all of this H2O and H3O2 into the tissues and the tissues start accumulating, going for the acids, of course, to neutralize the acids. So now you got a bunch of swelling in your hands, your ankles your feet and your legs so if you if you got kidney failure take it down to 23 ounces up to 34 don't pass don't go over 34 ounces of liquids right so now we talked about the actual fruits we talked about the liquids now it's time to start talking about the herbs the best herbs i tell y'all this all the time for the adrenals will be licorice root but if you have hyperactive adrenals this means you have hypertension you don't want to do licorice root because it will send you into a heart attack and stroke because it actually stimulates the hell out of the actual adrenals. So if you have that, then I, I suggest you do ashwagandha. Ashwagandha, all right? You got wild yam root. These things are very, very good for the adrenals if you have hypertension. But if you do have hypertension, high blood pressure, do not take licorice root, all right? This will actually stimulate the adrenals. Get them pumping, get get the electricity back up so you can turn the filtration system on. Now, herbs for the kidneys, y'all. It's plenty of them. I'm going to tell you my favorite herbs from the kidneys. Parsley leaf is amazing for the kidneys. Parsley leaf. Y'all make sure y'all writing this down. Another one is stingy nettle root. Amazing for the kidneys. Amazing for kidney filtration. Amazing. All right? Another one. Y'all writing this down? When I see it, I go to the next one. Parsley leaf, amazing for the kidneys. Stingy nettle root, amazing for the kidneys. My favorite one is plantain leaf. Plantain leaf. And I'm not talking about plantains that come from plantains. I'm talking about an actual plantain leaf. It's an herb. That is my number one kidney leaf. I mean, it does amazing for opening up the kidneys, filtrating, getting the nephrons working, all of that. These three herbs, look, put them all together, equal parts. All right, so look, with the actual adrenos, you're going to do that by capsules. Equal parts, however much you want. Blend it up, get you a little $25 nut grinder for Walmart. Blend these things up, buy you some capsules off of Amazon's, uh, and then get you a little $25 capsule maker and make you some capsules. All right, you're going to get, and what I like to do is 1,000 grams, 1,000 grams capsules. All right, so these are zero, zero. A zero zero will get you a thousand grams. You're gonna take three thousand grams to take, of these capsules watch this. a day. Yeah. Now, as far as the kidney uh, herbs, you're gonna mix these in equal parts, but you're gonna actually use these as teas. Now, make sure that your plantain is more than anything. So if you're gonna do equal parts of everything else I mentioned, make sure that you go above when it goes to plantain. You know what I'm saying? Make sure your ratio of plantain is always more. So if you do it in ounces, do everything in an ounce, but when it's time to your plantain, you're going to pour two ounces of that plantain in it. Mix it all together real good. Make sure you mix it all together real good and put it in a, uh, uh, what you would call a, a mason jar, and you're going to use a cup of tea a day. And out of that cup of tea a day, you're going to drink one tea in the morning, one tea in the evening, and one tea at night. But you're going to use the same batch. After you use it three times, throw it out. If you want to make it super strong, let it sit in cold water 12 hours before you start to boil it. Bring it to the boil to, for two minutes, then you're going to let that deal simmer for 45 minutes. And then you let it sit. Strain it and drink it and use that pot two more times for the rest of your teas and then throw it, throw it out in the grass. 
This will help open up your kidneys and put your adrenal glands back online. That way you can actually start filtrating once you get your interstitial fluid moving because the adrenal glands done pick back up. Now they're producing acetylcholine. Acetylcholine going to create the enzyme called acetylcholine nesterase. Acetylcholine nesterase is going to be contracted by, I mean, secreted by the muscles and literally start contracting and dilating the lymphatic vessels. And you have this pulsating rhythmic frequency hitting them lymphatic vessels. Now you're moving lymph and you're getting rid of metabolic waste. You're getting rid of toxemias. You're getting rid of metals. You're getting rid of everything that's not supposed to be in your body. Because again, y'all have to remember mm. that the He started going there. Let me see what else I got in here. What if I told you everything that you need to stay healthy <laughs> is right in your backyard? So this that's crazy right here, too, yo. A lot of the stuff like that we need, you know, and can like keep us healthy, is in our backyard, and people don't even notice because they don't search up the how what the uh, benefits of the plants. They just cut them, you know. They just get the, get the grass cut, and they don't even know that they got stuff in their backyard that could be healing them. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. We would consider I'm about to start doing my research on this stuff, though. As weeds, right? Let me replay right that. Let's what replay if I told that. you everything that you need to stay healthy is right in your backyard? So this field right here, we would consider all of these just random plants as weeds, right? Right. Right here, you have a red clover. Now, not only is this an edible green, but also this is great for menopause symptoms such as hot flashes fatigue, weight gain, it's excellent for kidney health as well. Over here, you got narrow leaf plantain, which is excellent for cancer. It's excellent for iron, as well as it's great for insect bites. You can eat the shoot that comes up, and as well as the leaves. Flea ban, excellent for stomach issues, also no. excellent for insect bites. I see these, I see these all the time in my backyard. All the time in the backyard, I always see these. These always grow. I didn't even know you can eat these or you use these. I did not know that. You find random dogs, which are great for liver issues, kidney issues, cleansing the blood, as well as they're edible. They can be used as a green in stews and salads. Mudwort is excellent as a calming herb and helping you with lucid dreaming. It's also great for digestion. Chinese bush clover. Now this is great for cavities, toothaches, hernias, and so many other things. What if I told you everything dope, that you need man. to stay healthy? This is so dope how our planet like provides everything we need, you know. There's no way you should be around here and you know feeling unwell and stuff. But yeah. What would you do if you had cancer? If I had cancer? Mm -hmm. Uh, I would immediately get out of America because this is a stressful environment and stress does, you know, cause cancer to exacerbate. So I would immediately leave, leave here, go somewhere in business mm -hmm. where I can be around fruits, vegetables, easy. Mm -hmm. um, I would immediately start juicing, not eating. Uh, because the thing you want to do is you want to starve cancer. Right. Because you can feed cancer. Mm -hmm. And one of the primary things you can feed, feed cancer with is sugar. Mm. Okay, so I want to starve it by first not eating any kind of sugar. And then I want my I want my body to be in such a healthy state. And remember what I told you. When your belly is empty, like the more you eat, the more healthier you're gonna be. Mm -hmm. Like it's just facts. And so I'm gonna juice a lot so I can keep my body in a rested state so it can use all of the energy it would be breaking down food with mm. to heal, regenerate, and repair. What would you do if you had cancer? Mm. If I That's had cancer? Crazy. Uh, I would... But you, did you see what he said? I would first, I would leave America because America is stressful. It is. I agree on that 100%. And then he said he started start juicing. Hey. That sound about right. It's about to be war on, a on October 25th, a famous musician will come out and reveal that they've faked their death. Whoa. Everyone will know who this person is, and he is said to be a legend of his time. Oh, shit. Who do you think? Who are your predictions? Yo, it's either, it's either Michael Jackson or Tupac. Or Tupac. Yeah. <laughs> it's either one of them, bro. It's either one of them. I, I, I think it might be Tupac. I have money about Tupac. I, I, I feel like, I feel like, 
the, the way the world is moving right now, yeah. T- Tupac might be the one. The way the world is moving. Okay, but okay, say he comes out. What would he, he say though? Well, if, if you like, I'm still here. If you look into the Tupac like mythology, he was very much about um philosophy oh, okay. it really dug deep into those type of things surprisingly a lot of these artists at, at least the very artistic ones they really do some research and they're a lot more intellectual than you think so i think it would be tupac because i feel michael jackson doesn't really have those type of i guess wisdom yeah, yeah. to give out on october 25th a famous Yo, listen to this. the new creator inside search tool is showing you what people are searching for here's the part that gets crazy for you and click on content gap there's going to be searches on there that people are looking for but there's not enough content so if that's within your niche you need to make a video right away use that search so listen right y'all i was like let me see let me let me try this shit out you know what i'm saying let, let me see what everybody want to see what's going on in tiktok do y'all find this weird that this is 90 percent search what bro mind you this is the highest search thing why though if y'all thinking what i'm thinking yo I don't know, man. These searches is weird. This shit is weird. Do y'all agree? Oh my god! Yo, listen to this. If you see an orange butterfly, then you need to listen. Listen to your intuition and stay aligned with your feelings. If you see a yellow butterfly, then stay up on your journey. Try to find out what's not working. Fix it so you can stay on purpose. If you see in the blue butterfly, you gotta speak your mind. Tell the truth with no fear. Toe to toe, eye to eye. You see in purple butterflies, then tap in with your higher self. It's time to meditate and pray. Let that negative energy melt. If you see a red butterfly, then... A red butterfly? I don't think I ever seen a rare butterfly. Have you? It's time to be happy. Go pursue your dreams and passions. What they say don't really matter. You see in black butterflies, don't that. be afraid to let go. It's time for okay. change. Close that chapter. If you don't, life moves slow. If you see in white butterflies, then that might be your ancestor. Came to probably give a message. Listen close and please do better. What color butterflies are you seeing? Let me know and comment what animal I should rap about. I'll give you more. If you see an orange butterfly, then you need to. I noticed something quite bizarre, and it wasn't in the data from the collisions. It was in the shape of CERN's most well-recognized building, the Globe of Science and Innovation in Geneva, Switzerland. Not only was it a bowl shape, but the design of the building also had a hole in the top of the dome, exactly as my theory would call for. So I made a magnetic scale model of the CERN dome, placed a set of them in my vacuum chamber, and fired it up. Not only did these CERN bowls form a spherical shape at the center of the reaction, but they also formed a disk of plasma around the nucleus, as well as ejection jets along the axis. After running the experiments for a few days with the CERN bowls, they were removed from the vacuum chamber and photographed, revealing the patterns you see here. Then once it was realized that the key pattern required for this theory was found in the dome at CERN, it was also discovered that CERN was not the only place with the required pattern. The pattern has been there for centuries at the Pantheon in Rome, which has been referred to as the Vault of the Heavens. Then the required shape was also found at St. Peter's Basilica, Then one of my favorites was found at St. Paul's Cathedral in Medina, Malta. Notice the angels circling the hole at the top of the dome, and compare that to the glowing ring that is found inside the bowl-shaped magnetic field emitters in the vacuum chamber. Why are these angels on fire exactly where they should be? Much more. So it seems that people often want a sign from God that we are not alone. Sometimes God does give us a sign if we just pay attention. Sometimes he even puts that sign up over the capital of the United States of America.
I noticed something quite bizarre, and it wasn't in the... People are surprised by the discoveries made by this crane operator in the Amsterdam River. This crane operator's job is to go through the canals of Amsterdam and clear out any junk that's been dumped in the river every year. Many people are shocked to see the number of bikes that he's pulling out of this river. Now there's a lot of speculation about the reasons behind the abundance of bikes in the river. Many people think that there are so many bikes because drunk bike riders ride home from the pub, crash their bikes, and fall into the water. Others believe these bikes are stolen bikes, which have been used for a ride and were then dumped in the river. It's probably a mix of both. But there's another darker theory. According to this theory is that bike companies can't survive solely by repairing tires That's and selling rearview mirrors. Some people think that store owners collect bikes at night and throw them into the river. They believe people buy new bikes, which helps the stores make money and stay in business. What are your thoughts on this? People are surprised by the discoveries made by this crane operator. Was Justin Bieber exposing the truth about Hollywood in the song he made called Lonely? In the first verse, after a few lines, he sings about how his life has changed. And he also speaks about how when he is older, hopefully it will all calm down. This is where people are saying he meant this as a way to say he can't be controlled when he gets older since many people do believe that he was being taken advantage of. Even he himself came out saying this. Here is him singing it. It feels like all our lives have changed. Maybe when I'm older it'll all calm down. This hollow mask theory uh, my brain just can't comprehend. Obviously, because it's a hollow mask theory, there's gonna be a hollow mask. So what you're seeing right here looks like it's protruding outwards. It looks like the casting of a face. But in reality, you're actually seeing the inside of the mask. So this is concaved inward. Yeah, when I learned about this, it blew my fucking mind. I was like, what? There's no way, there's no way. There's kind of like a catch-22 going on. There are some studies that would suggest that people who still see the concave face may have schizophrenia. And that's because their mind doesn't have the stimuli to force the optical illusion. Here's another example. We're looking at hollow masks, concaved masks, but because our brains are so complex, it won't allow us to see it for what it really is. It looks like it's the front of the face. Like it looks like it would be the outside of the mask. But when it starts to turn, you see that you're actually looking at the inside of it, but it's still protruding outward. If you go searching for some of these images, just remember not all are the same. I came across this one and I was like, oh no, something's wrong with me. But I, I think it's just this image because the other ones are fine. Seriously, like how do you see this one? Is it is it concaved for you too or is it just me? And in case you're still mind blown the way I am, here's another example. This mask is just your average casting, like a face mask. The dark haired side is obviously the outside of the mask, like the 3D, the protruding side. As that starts to turn to the left, the inside of the mask, the hollow portion of the mask is starting to be more visible. And it looks like the face is protruding outward, even though it's concave. And it also looks like it's looking to the right. For me, sometimes the mask looks like it's concave and sometimes it looks like it's protruding. I'm like, am I okay? Is everything fine in here? I don't know. <laughs> Just in case I'm not explaining this well enough to you, I'm going to let the video finish off with somebody else narrating. That way you can hear like from a different angle. Look, look convex as though it's a normal face almost, though it isn't. As soon as the features appear, there, your brain refuses to see it as hollow simply because it is so unlikely. And this demonstrates the immense power of top-down knowledge, which could actually counter signals bottom up from the senses. This hollow mass theory, uh, my no, brain just can't comprehend. You, that was mean? strange. I ain't gonna lie. That's strange. I don't know. Like, it stormed me off. I ain't gonna lie. Storm me off a little bit. Bro. I'm right here at Target, and I really can't make this shit up right now, guys. Lucky Charms, which the government said that it was better than steak, and the food pyramid look at this guys it, besides all the already stuff there it, you know we're I mean, looking yeah, for the trisodium phosphate where is it right there we're gonna go to home depot right now and i'm gonna show you what that is guys but look at that it says trap because it's a trap guys and here it is guys I really gonna make this shit up look what trisodium phosphate is right here tsp Clean surface in preparation for painting. It's a paint thinner. It strips painting, guys. Lip surface is clean without rinsing. Effective deck and guys, they and y'all know the crazy thing is they have to tell us what they're doing because they don't want to get their karma. So they put these ingredients on there. 
knowing that people's not gonna look at it. They just wanna eat their favorite cereal. You know, I want my lucky charms today. So they they know what they doing though. This is what they've been doing. Time, they they gonna keep doing it too. It, it, this this is so poisonous. This trisodium phosphate is so poisonous that they have a phosphate free version for cleaning, and people are putting that in their bodies. You know, can make this shit up, guys. And I gotta tell you one last thing: you vote when you buy, guys. You know, the food in America is prohibited in like 65 nations plus. The whole European Union doesn't even allow fluoride in their running water. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that you vote when you buy. The only reason why we have all this crap in our food in America is because you buy it, guys. You know? Right. Choose your power to buy the healthy food. I know it's not completely safe, but can you only imagine what conventional is like if the one that are supposed to be good is already bad? So do your due diligence, guys. Don't cut fur when it comes to your health. Buy the best that you can get and avoid the poison. And always remember that you vote when you buy. That's your power. That's when you really, really vote. If you stop buying this crap, they'll stop selling it. They'll start selling what you want. Hope That's you real. Thank you, guys. That's real. That's so weird. We just said, I'm not going to lie. You, when you vote, you really just buy. That, that's real. I respect that. In 2020, you had 150,000 people a month searching gardening. How to grow their own food. Then you go to 2021 and you got 250,000 people a month searching how to grow your own food. 2022, you go up to 500,000 people searching gardening, how to grow my own food per month. 2023, you have 1 million people searching how to grow my own food. So as you can see, there is a revolution taking place, even though you see all this like Bill Gates and fake food and lab grown and all this other garbage that they try to sell you that's soil and green. There is a rep on this side which is not being broadcast. You don't want to show that people are waking up on this side and that things are changing. That people are growing their own food. They're getting their own chickens. They're getting their own cows. They're getting their, you know, they're growing their own plants. They're building greenhouses. They're getting into structured water, spiraling water. That's not televised because that shows a revolution that's happening. All the people, when they were seeing like all the, the food shortages and all that nonsense, which was orchestrated, were realizing that they gotta do something. So people started growing their own food and getting animals. And same thing with water. In 2020, Indeed. you had a hundred- grew your own food. All right, that is gonna do it for today's video. I'm sending peace, abundance, prosperity, and good health your way. Make sure you take care of yourself, all right? And with all that being said, I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.